Five years ago, we got gifted this hall um, from the Badawi Street Gospel Mission. And when we took it on, although it had been so well looked after by faithfully by some um, couples that came to the um, came to the church, um, it was it hadn't been modernised and it wasn't fit for our purpose. So when we first looked into what we needed to get done in the building, it looked like it was going to cost us about ninety thousand, uh, maximum of ninety thousand pound, which at the time, to be honest, didn't seem too bad, um, because I knew there was a lot of funding um, available out there and because we were um, because we were in a deprived community there's a we tick all the boxes and things like that and I thought we'd probably get quite a fair bit of that through funding so we started applying for grants and we got some of the money um, uh, you know, raised through grants and then what happened is we got the builders in to actually give us a proper quote for it and it turned out it was going to cost us over a hundred thousand pounds to do the work and with the money that we'd, we'd raised so far we were still a hundred thousand pounds short and then lockdown hit which no one was expecting and we started praying i started praying even harder then but remarkably the you know we just needed a trust in god and just the money would come in and that was really shown um to us through st john's particularly the support that they gave through the big 500 and through the giving a week that they had it was amazing we were so appreciative so much so that it actually encouraged me i felt i felt um, god saying to me that we needed to have our own giving week as a church now you reckon for those of you that know clay know we're a very small church in fact at the time we only had two taxpayers in the church but i decided we had to have a giving week and whatever amount we raised it would be an amount to go towards the building project and I was absolutely amazed to find we raised £9,000 £9, just amongst a, a small church like this, to the point where one day there was actually an envelope put through my door with what looked like like loose change, where somebody had emptied their money box almost. It was £15, I think it was, worth of change. So at the end of it, the building, building was finished, and it is you could just say it's just a building. But I really believe that God has great plans for this place. And this is being shown out already in what's happening here. We have a cafe that runs um, two days a week. And this isn't just a cafe, but it's actually a space where young people, we have people from the educate, local education services who, who are in care or have a background of care that have been coming here and learning hospitality skills. We have people from the local community who are feeling isolated that are able to come in and have a cup of tea. We've also got um, a toddler group that's running. We have a recovery group that's running. We're even sharing it with another um, church. There's another church that's starting to meet on the Sunday afternoon with us last um, last autumn. And it's been great to see because it's not just about um, helping us out financially with the upkeep of the building, but it's actually about the fact that they're helping us to reach the people of Postle. So my message to you, St John's Church, is not to lose hope. It's really exciting to see what God is doing through this new building and um, project that you have and what he's going to do in the future. What I would say is don't worry about those mountains that you see ahead of you. Just remember God can move mountains and don't worry about don't worry about how big or vast things look because everyone can play their part in actually helping to helping to make a difference.